Ecclesiastes, is this a familiar verse to many of you? Amazing verse. Chapter 3, verse 11, Ecclesiastes says, God has put eternity in man's heart, yet so that he cannot find out what God has done from the beginning to the end. What is that? I take that to mean that the human soul, God has put, the human soul and the world is iridescent with wonders linked with eternity. Just now and then, just taste them, see them, feel them, then they go away. And the humdrum and the ordinary and the mundane experiences of life keep us from seeing them and soaring the way we'd like to dream sometimes. And even we believers, right, who have the, just take a deep breath, have the Holy Spirit of God dwelling in us, even we say we have this treasure in clay pots. So we, we live this tension, right? We, we live this mystery. There's a bigness and an awesomeness about a believer and something so utterly non-awesome. You don't look awesome. I'm not awesome. But you are awesome. One day the children of God will be revealed, X8 says. Right now you look like everybody else and you're not. Our spirit is alive with God's spirit and our bodies are dead because of sin. That's the way life is. And that's the way this prayer is. Iridescent with eternity and then woven into the ordinary thing of life. So let me rehearse them again. Verse 3. Verse 9. Father, cause your great holy name to be honored and reverenced and esteemed and treasured and loved and valued above all things. This is the feel. My voice is intending to communicate how big and strong and deep and wonderful are these three petitions. Father, verse 10, cause your glorious, sovereign, kingly rule to hold sway without obstruction everywhere in the universe and right here especially. Verse 10b, cause your all-wise, all-good, all-just, all-holy will to be done all over the world the way the angels do it in heaven, and they do it perfectly and joyfully. We want to see a planet like that. Bring it. Verse 11, 